we can use it standing up. More so, this is a great strike, a great option when I throw my uh, opponent on the ground. So <clears throat> the hack strike is gonna be like this. It's gonna be a circular motion, right? Coming down like this. So just like with the hand where I made that circle, right? We're gonna do the same thing with our leg. So can I use the hack strike here with a foot stomp? Or if I have them tipping over and they're leaned and I could do a hack strike onto the side of the ankle or onto the side of the knee and try to like jeopardize the structure of their leg. Yes, we can. You have that option. Depending on the shoes you're wearing, right? Maybe you're wearing hiking shoes and they're wearing sandals. The hack strike might be an awesome strike to uh, deliver to their foot if their foot's open and yours isn't closed. So, <clears throat> you know, there's a time and place for that, but where the hack strike really finds the most benefit, right, is if I had Mike, let's say I threw him on the ground. So Mike, just lay down for me. So in this position here, instead of me coming down and mounting him and going into trying to do ground and pound, because now if he grabs me or anything like that and holds me, if someone else comes in, now we're tied up. Okay, so instead of me coming down and doing ground and pound, the other thing is if I come here and I start punching Mike in the head, right, and his head doesn't move, there's a high probability I'm gonna break my hand. So what I like here with the hack strike is this, Instead of me coming down there, I can stand here, boom, work that hack strike here, right? I'm still here, I can see everyone. If there's multiple attackers or whatever, that's fine, boom, I can hit him, right? And I have this right here, okay? So this is a great spot for our hack strike, um, which would be very, very brutal um, and do a ton of damage to the person who's on the ground. All right, so for our hack strike, a great way we can practice this without destroying your punching bags if you're gonna train with your shoes on is we actually do it on a tire. You can find a car tire that's semi-firm, right? You don't want one that's so soft that a little bit of pressure just collapses the tire, right? You don't want one that's so hard that like with the rim still in it and air in it that there's no give whatsoever. So in our hack strike, when we come down, <clears throat> I don't wanna land on the ground with my heel. If I land on my heel and I miss my target, I can hurt my foot. So I'm gonna come in like I'm leading with my heel, but in that circular motion, if I were to land on the ground, I'm gonna land flat footed so I don't injure myself in this exchange. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my partner hold the tire. Okay, from here, all I'm gonna do is my circle motion. So it starts looking like I'm gonna do a breaker. So it comes up like a breaker, my foot rolls over and I'm gonna drive into the tire. So I'll demonstrate real quick. Whoosh. Hold on to it. Whoosh. Hold with two hands. Whoosh. There it is. Whoosh. 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 Okay, left leg. Whoosh. Whoosh. So you can see if we were to do this strike on someone on the ground, very devastating, can do a lot of damage. All right guys, for the hack strike, what we can do is you can get a punching bag, throw it on the ground on its side. And um, this one's a bag that I have designated for doing this stuff. This is kind of a, <clears throat> our beater. It's an old punching bag. So if you have a new punching bag or whatever, I would just say take your shoes off for this drill if you wanna practice in shoes because that's how you're gonna be fighting in the street, then throw your shoes on. But don't go to the local gym and take their nice punching bag and throw it on the ground and start stomping on it with your shoes, right? So in this, here's the hack strike. This is a great way I can work the power in addition to the tire. Hish, 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 hish. I can do it with the lead leg, hish, hish or the back leg, hush, and step into it. Hush, 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 hush. Hush, 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 hush. All right, so when you practice this, what I would recommend doing is I would do 10. Maybe you stand in a regular guard 
and do 10 from the rear leg, driving in. And maybe you do 10 from the lead leg on a short hack like this. Then maybe you switch legs, you do your short hack with your right leg and do your long one with the, with the left leg. That way you practice it from both positions from here, hish, coming in from this, also from the back, hish, and then vice versa, you do it from here, hish, and from the back, hish. And that way you can work that power, try to make it sharp and strong, and uh, you'll see it's a devastating strike. You're gonna like it. <laughs>